I think rotational symmetry is really interesting. And I also think it just plain sounds cool. I mean, if you talk about rotational symmetry with your friends, they'll think you're really smart. And I'm sure you are really smart. They'll just be really impressed with words like rotational symmetry. It sounds cool. So what is rotational symmetry? Um, a shape with rotational symmetry can be rotated less than 360 degrees and still look the same. And I say less than 360 degrees because actually any object could be rotated 360 degrees. That's just a full circle. It still look like it looked before. So that that doesn't really count. Um, if I could rotate myself all the way around um, and I'd still look like myself, but that doesn't mean I have rotational symmetry. Um, but if I do something like this, okay, I'm going to make a copy of this star, line it up, and then show you how I can rotate it and it will exactly line up with itself. So not that, but uh, actually, let's see. It's yeah. That's not quite it. I'm trying to get an exact. Yeah, there we go. Exact match. So I did not rotate that all the way around. I rotated. I forget. Um, but part of the way around, and now it's exactly lining up with itself. Um, so this star thing has rotational symmetry, and when. Uh, when we talk about symmetry, we could say um, a shape has five-fold symmetry or a rotational symmetry of order five. And, and what that means is it can point in five different directions and still uh, look exactly like it did before you did the rotations. Um, so I don't know how many, uh, what order of rotational symmetry the star has. My guess would be um, two. But uh, yeah, that in this this flower here, would have a, uh, you know, probably something close to as many petals as it has. Uh, it's not perfect. Um, this this flower doesn't have perfect rotational symmetry, but I want to show you how how rotational symmetry can exist in nature. But it's probably something like you could rotate it. You could rotate you know this petal so it lines up with that petal, and um, then it would basically line up. And then you know th this has a many fold rotational symmetry is is what I'm getting at. Um, Masseratops does not have rotational symmetry. Um, you know, if, we, I f if I rotate him like this, he's not lined up. If I rotate him like that, he's not lined up. I have to do a full 360 in order to get him to line up with himself. So no rotational symmetry there. Sorry, buddy. Um, but any object that you can turn less than a full circle and it lines up with itself perfectly has rotational symmetry.